Okay, so in our video series on emergency medicine, in this video we'll be talking about myxedemic coma. We'll discuss that what is myxedemic coma, what is its presentation, and what are the causes of myxedemic coma, and how do you treat myxedemic coma patient in emergency department step by step. First of all, what is myxedemic coma? Myxedemic coma is basically a medical emergency due to severe hypothyroidism, leading to decreased mental status. hypothermia and slowing of the functions of multiple organs since in hypothyroidism there is lack of thyroid hormones and thyroid hormones run the metabolic machinery of the body if there is lack of thyroid hormones the metabolic machinery of the body will be slowed down there will be hypothermia since there will be no generation of the heat due to the metabolic shutdown there will be decreased mental status and the functions of the organ will be slowed down due to the lack of thyroid hormone myxedemic coma is a medical emergency it is a medical emergency that occurs in people who are known hypothyroid patient these patients already have some mild compensated form of hypothyroidism but all of a sudden they they develop sudden drop in their thyroid hormone levels and sudden drop in thyroid hormone level worsens their symptoms there is exacerbation of the symptoms therefore they present to you in emergency department now they are known hypothyroid patient that get decompensated and there is a high mortality rate if you do not treat it appropriately and urgently now coming to thyroid hormone thyroid hormones basically as i said that it runs the metabolic machinery of the body and if you think that if thyroid hormone is deficient the whole metabolic machinery would just shut down it would just collapse and it collapses in myxedemic coma basically what happens is that body cannot maintain the temperature the heat generation mechanisms are slowed down and there is hypothermia there is bradycardia heart slows down the vessels do not constrict there is a hypotension hyporeflexia reflexes slow down brain also shuts down there is coma and sometimes you might also find seizures why do you find seizures in a in a hypothyroid patient seizures occur due to concomitant hyponatremia in these patients and and before these patients get into myxedemic coma they get psychosis they get slowing of the brain which is called as myxedemic madness myxedemic madness precedes myxedemic coma and patient are unable to maintain their glucose level since the metabolic machinery has just come to a grinding halt therefore these patients have hypoglycemia i hope that you now understand the mechanism behind these symptoms what are the precipitating factors since these patient are already known hypothyroid patient and have the baseline disease what triggers this decompensation the triggers to these these compensation are the precipitating factors these patient get infected or they these patient get an mi stroke trauma any stressful situation that demands high levels of thyroid hormones but their body is unable to produce those thyroid hormone therefore it comes to a metabolic shutdown it comes to a grinding halt where there are no thyroid hormones so these are the triggers that precipitate a myxedemic coma these patients might have a history of radio iodine thyroidectomy because of which they are hypothyroid they may even have gone through a pituitary surgery a secondary cause of hypothyroidism so you these are the important points that you need to take in the history of the patient what are the investigations that you need to do in a patient who presents to you with myxedemic coma you need to take blood to see the t3 t4 tsh levels which will be low and you need to do cbc to look out for infection you need to get electrolytes you need to get blood cultures if you suspect infection you need to get cortisol levels since hypothyroidism can be associated with a hypopituitarism and that hypopituitarism also causes low cortisol levels so these patient present to you with myxedemic coma so you should do for cortisol levels to see concomitant additions with this hypothyroidism you do glucose levels and abgs to see the acidotic status coming to the treatment of myxedemic coma since these patients present to you in a such a severe condition icu care is presented icu care is preferred you start high flow oxygen if the patient is cyanosed and 
you correct the hypoglycemia because hypoglycemia is one of the features of hypothyroidism. You give T3, T3 leothyronine. T3 is basically active form of thyroid hormone. T3 is four to five times more active than T4. T3 is the active form, active end result of thyroid hormones. So you give T3 leothyronine five to 20 microgram every 12 hourly IV slowly. And be cautious that when you are giving thyroid hormone, this thyroid hormone will cause contractility of the heart. And if the patient is already having a pre-existing ischemic heart disease, this excessive load on heart might not be good for him. And it can precipitate ischemic heart disease. So be a little cautious in such patients. And then give hydrocortisone, 100 milligram, 8 hourly IV. Why hydrocortisone? As I said, that mixed edemic coma can be due to a secondary pituitary cause. And there can be a concomitant deficiency of cortisol, the steroid hormones. Therefore, there can be concomitant additions with it. So you need to give hydrocortisone till the time secondary causes have been ruled out. And you give antibiotic if you suspect infection as a cause of precipitation. You start antibiotic early if needed with coamoxiclav 1.2 gram 8 hourly IV. So we started high flow oxygen. We corrected hypoglycemia. We gave T3. We gave hydrocortisone and we gave antibiotic if needed. Since these patients present to you in with low blood pressure and hypotension with bradycardia, you need to support the blood pressure with fluids. And you should give slightly warm fluids because these patients are already having hypothermia, so slight warm fluid would control their temperature. And if the blood pressure does not respond to fluids, ionotropes to pump the heart might be needed. Warm blankets and warm fluids should be given. This was all about the treatment of mexidemic coma. Now you have already provided the treatment. You can continue the treatment with T3, 5 to 20 microgram, 12 hourly IV until sustained improvement is seen. Usually for two to three days, you have to give T3 IV. And then you shift the patient to levothyroxine, 50 microgram OD once daily orally. This levothyroxine would be a replacement for thyroid hormones that are deficient in that patient. And hydrocortisone and IV fluids can be used if patient needs it and patient is admitted with you. In summary, we talked about what is myxedemic coma. We talked about the signs and symptoms with which it presents. Then we talked about the precipitating factors. Then ICU care, high flow oxygen, correcting hypoglycemia, giving leothyronine, giving hydrocortisone, antibiotic if needed. And if BP does not get better, give ionotropes, warm blankets, warm fluid. Shift the patient to levothyroxine, 50 microgram orally once daily. So this was all about mexidemic coma. If you liked my video, please click on the subscribe button and check out my other videos on emergency medicine. The link of those videos is given in the description below. Thank you very much.